we go. First fish, a few casts in. And that might be a pike. It feels really big. Look at that. Might have lip took a pike. Might break me off. Wow, that's crazy. Four casts in. Come on, baby. You have to fight him. It's a pretty big fish, for sure. Could be a big walleye, too. I hope I get a look at him. That is a heavy fish, for sure. Look at him going sideways into the shore. Probably a. I don't want to say what I think it is, but man, it might be a trophy walleye. Oh man, that was a really big fish. Hear that or it's just a foul hook, but it's probably not. Gotta believe. Hit it on the drop, I think. It's probably not foul hooked. Oh, that's a really big fish. Does not feel foul hooked. Hard to tell though. Come on, baby. Just stay hooked. Stay hooked. Oh, that's a big guy. So heavy. So heavy. Probably a huge pike. Feels too big for a while. It feels like 15 pounds. Hard to tell though, but could be way off, but you know. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but that's what I'm feeling. Very heavy fish. Oh, that looks like a walleye. Big walleye. Oh man. Are you kidding? Big walleye. So many years in. Oh no, it's not walleye. I saw the yellow on it. I think it's a pike. Big pike. 15 more pounds. Looks really thick. I saw the light color. I think it's because of the, the tint of the water and the light. I think I lip took a pike. Wow, are you kidding? That's like the most miraculous thing. Because I only have six pound test. If it got in his mouth it's just six pound mono you know mono cuts real easy so if it got in his mouth and it would probably break off pretty easy this is gonna be tough though because i gotta i mean i have to get in the water for him even though the water's freezing because there's, there's a nice shelf here oh, come on baby let me catch you let me catch you looks like a big pike hard to tell i think it's a pike could be a tiger probably a pike i've only i only saw the shape and a little bit of like greenish yellow a huge pike oh man huge huge trophy size possibly upper 30s or 40 or 35 I don't know can't tell but personal best probably maybe that looks like a giant I haven't seen the whole fish just like two-thirds of them I've actually hooked into two pike this winter and both of them cut me off so this is pretty oh, I might have foul hooked him on the gill plate I see the jig on his gill plate there he probably went after it that's probably why I feel so big like 15 20 pounds I think I hooked up foul hooked him on the head there that's why he didn't cut me off he probably attacked it and then just got foul hooked in the process oh that's a monster monster pike I don't know how I'm gonna land him I'm really wondering. That is an absolute monster pike. Super fat, thick. Look at him. Just look at the girth on him. Crazy. That is a big guy. Uh, sometimes when you get him real close to shore, the angle of the line changes and the hook pops. I definitely don't want that to happen. And I don't think he's a 40, but he's a big guy, man. He's definitely a big guy. You gotta ease him in here. Yeah, he's foul hooked on the gill plate. That's why he feels like a monster. Still pretty darn big though. Oh, that is a mid 30s pike. 35 ish. Big guy. I'm in the water now, so I'm gonna get cold. Might be the only fish I get tonight because oh, I can't believe this. It's happening. This is such a random thing to happen. I gotta get in the water though because this ice shelf, there's no way I'm gonna, I'm not gonna risk losing them. I'd rather get cold and just go back to the truck. 
you know it's a bit of a hike oh, please please don't pop please don't pop please oh, feel the water soaking through my boots you gotta do what you gotta do though it's worth it I think oh that's a monster as a 15 pounder for sure almost positive I can weigh him if I get him in here and measure him oh, please please get in giant giant pike definitely not 40 but big pike for sure oh come on I don't know what I'm gonna do here now water soaking through my boots that means I'm on the I don't have too much time now please please get in this is exactly why I should bring a net 100% why come here come here come here it's nice to have a, a, a wide gap hook you know for bigger fish that's all I can say on jigs why jigs are one of my favorite things for in terms of keeping fish hooked is I can have a nice large wide gap hook on there this is a four inch um, curly tail grub but black colored with a brown head six pound test just trying to ease them in here don't want to lose them look at that guy that's a big guy Oh, lost him. I'm soaked. Shoot. Oh, time to get back to the truck. 